Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we will be looking at statistical infrequency, which you need to know for AQA level psychology in the subtopic of psychopathology. I hope you enjoy this video and find it helpful. Let's get started. Statistical infrequency is a definition of abnormality, defined as abnormal behavior, thinking or traits that are statistically or numerically rare, uncommon, or anomalous within a population. It relies on the use of up-to-date statistics and focuses on the quantity of behavior measured in standard deviations from the mean rather than the quality, occupying the extreme ends of a normal distribution curve. For example, low IQ is defined as an intellectual disability disorder but high IQ is also defined as an intellectual disability. A strength of statistical infrequency as a definition of abnormality is that defining abnormality using statistical criteria can be appropriate and effective in many situations. For example, this approach allows for a clear and objective measure of behavior, making it easier to identify individuals who may need help. By quantifying behaviors and mental states, it provides a systematic way to differentiate between normal and abnormal functioning. This can be particularly useful in clinical settings where mental health professionals can use statistical data to inform diagnoses and treatment plans. Additionally, it can aid in the identification of rare disorders that may require specialized intervention, ensuring that individuals receive the appropriate support tailored to their specific needs. This is a strength because it suggests that statistical infrequency provides a reliable framework for identifying abnormal behavior, which can lead to timely and appropriate interventions. By using objective data, mental health professionals can make informed decisions about diagnoses and treatment, ultimately improving outcomes for individuals who may otherwise go unnoticed. Additionally, it helps create a standardized approach to understanding mental health, which can be beneficial in research and clinical practice. A limitation of statistical infrequency as a definition of abnormality is that some disorders are not statistically rare. For instance, Conditions like anxiety and depression are relatively common in the general population, yet they can still be considered abnormal in terms of functioning and behavior. This means that using statistical infrequency alone can lead to mislabeling individuals who experience common psychological issues as normal, while overlooking those who may have rarer conditions that significantly impair their daily lives. Furthermore, this definition does not take into account the social context or cultural norms, which can vary widely. This is a limitation because it suggests that the definition of abnormality may be too simplistic and fail to capture the complexities of mental health issues. By relying solely on statistical infrequency, it overlooks the importance of context, individual experiences, and the subjective nature of what constitutes abnormal behavior. This could lead to inadequate support for individuals who are struggling with common yet significant psychological conditions. A limitation of statistical infrequency as a definition of abnormality is that in other occasions defining people's characteristics on statistical rarity solely is unsuitable. A limitation of statistical infrequency as a definition of abnormality is that, in other occasions, defining people's characteristics solely on statistical rarity is unsuitable. This approach can lead to the mislabeling of individuals who may exhibit rare traits or behaviors that are not necessarily indicative of a mental health issue. For instance, some rare characteristics, such as exceptional intelligence or creativity, may be seen as abnormal according to statistical criteria, even though they can be valuable and beneficial in society. This can result in unnecessary stigma or treatment for individuals who do not require intervention, undermining the complexity of human behavior and the importance of context in understanding mental health. Additionally, relying solely on statistical infrequency may overlook the experiences of individuals who struggle with common mental health issues, thus failing to provide them with the support they need. This is a limitation because it suggests that relying on statistical infrequency can lead to the misclassification of behaviors that are actually normal or beneficial in society. By focusing solely on rarity, we risk overlooking the context and individual differences that contribute to mental health, which can result in unnecessary stigma or treatment for those who may not need it. This approach can also diminish the understanding of more common mental health issues, leaving individuals without the support they require. 
A strength of statistical infrequency as a definition of abnormality is that it provides an objective measure for abnormality. This objectivity is beneficial because it relies on quantifiable data rather than subjective opinions or societal norms, which can vary widely. By using statistical methods, psychologists can determine what constitutes typical behavior based on the distribution of traits or behaviors within a population. This can help in identifying individuals who may need support or intervention based on how far their characteristics deviate from the norm. Additionally, this approach allows for a clearer communication of abnormality within the field of psychology, as it provides a standardized way to assess and classify behaviors, making it easier to conduct research and compare findings across different studies. This is a strength because it suggests that the use of statistical infrequency can lead to a more systematic and reliable identification of abnormal behaviors. By relying on measurable data, psychologists can create clear criteria for what is considered normal or abnormal, which can help reduce ambiguity in diagnosis and treatment. This objective approach can also enhance the credibility of psychological assessments, as it is grounded in empirical evidence rather than subjective interpretations. A limitation of statistical infrequency as a definition of abnormality is that it is difficult to know where the line is between statistically normal and abnormal. This ambiguity can lead to challenges in accurately classifying individuals who may fall near the cutoff point. For instance, behaviors that are slightly above or below the average may not warrant a diagnosis, yet they can still significantly impact an individual's life. Moreover, the distribution of behaviors can vary across different populations and cultures, meaning that what is considered statistically normal in one context may be viewed as abnormal in another. This lack of a clear boundary can result in overdiagnosis or underdiagnosis of mental health conditions, ultimately affecting the care and support individuals receive. Additionally, relying solely on statistical measures may overlook important contextual factors, such as the individual's environment and personal experiences, which are crucial for a comprehensive understanding of their mental health. This is a limitation because it suggests that the reliance on statistical infrequency may lead to inconsistencies and confusion in diagnosing abnormality. Without a clear demarcation between normal and abnormal behavior, individuals who may need help could be overlooked, while others might receive unnecessary labels. This can create a situation where the nuances of individual experiences are not adequately considered, potentially resulting in misdiagnosis or inadequate support for those who truly need it. A limitation of statistical infrequency as a definition of abnormality is that it is culturally biased. This means that behaviors considered abnormal in one culture may be seen as normal in another, leading to a lack of universality in the application of this definition. For instance, certain practices or beliefs that are common in specific cultural groups may fall outside the statistical norms established by predominantly Western populations, resulting in misinterpretation or misdiagnosis. Additionally, the reliance on statistical data from a singular cultural perspective can overlook the rich diversity of human behavior, which varies significantly across different societies. This cultural bias can further exacerbate stigma and discrimination against individuals who do not conform to the statistical norms of the dominant culture, ultimately hindering their access to appropriate support and understanding. This is a limitation because it suggests that the application of statistical infrequency may lead to inaccurate assessments of individuals from diverse cultural backgrounds. It can result in behaviors being pathologized simply because they do not align with the norms of a specific culture, which can perpetuate misunderstandings and reinforce stigma. Consequently, this cultural bias can hinder effective treatment and support, as it fails to recognize the validity of different cultural expressions and experiences. A limitation of statistical infrequency as a definition of abnormality is that it lacks temporal validity. This means that what is considered statistically normal or abnormal can change over time due to shifts in societal norms, values, and expectations. For example, behaviors that may have been deemed abnormal in the past, such as homosexuality, are now recognized as part of the normal spectrum of human diversity. As cultural attitudes evolve, the statistical norms that define abnormality can become outdated, leading to misdiagnoses and inappropriate treatments based on an obsolete understanding of human behavior. 
This is a limitation because it suggests that the criteria for determining abnormality may not accurately reflect the realities of individual experiences over time. As societal norms evolve, behaviors that were once classified as abnormal may no longer warrant that label, potentially leading to a misunderstanding of individuals' mental health needs and experiences. This can result in outdated assessments and treatments that do not align with contemporary understandings of human behavior, ultimately impacting the effectiveness of psychological support and intervention. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye.